All I hear is talking, I don't sweat that. If they don't trust me, yeah, I respect that. If she need on the ride, do oh, I bet that? Ooh, I slide for my people, don't forget that. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Ooh, I slide for my people, don't forget that. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Ooh, I slide for my people, don't forget that. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is J.H. How y'all doing, Postal Family? Is everybody good? Is everybody cool? Everybody clean? Are you crisp? Are you feeling iry today? Let's talk. We just gonna jump right in it. Jump right in it. Somebody left a comment a little while ago, and the comment said, my supervisor just told me today that my ass belongs to the United States Postal Service. That's what the supervisor told the worker. This is the power trip that some of these people that get in a little bit of power get on. Not all, but (laughs) I got to watch what I say because I'm on this. You know what? I'm going to start putting out my, my rumble again because I slowed down with it because these people, every single video I post, this is madness. Can't even speak freely anymore. Sharing information. They just want to cut it down. So, this young lady that we spoke about, two videos. Two videos. We got the information from her, which was on the news. Then we got the information from the shop steward. And now, Jay got the information. Jay got the information. I'd be, I'd be, I'd be curious. I'd be curious because I apologized once. And then I had to apologize again after the fact. There's some people and I'm hoping and I'm hoping that the people that are doing this are watching. You commented, I put your information out there. And then she just happened to uh, watch my video. So you know what she did. If I were you, just remember Mr. Stewart, nobody's above the law, nobody. Now the information that she happened to share with me, Obviously, I can't share it on here. But if you don't know nothing else about me, I know enough people that are going to help her. But I will share a couple of things that she said just in defense of herself. Because Mr. Shop Steward, I don't think you want me to share the screenshots of the conversations that you two have had. That wouldn't be helpful for your own household, now would it? Yes, yeah, 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 this is the saga's continuing. And feel free, Mr. Shop Steward. If you really, really wanna find me because you wanna shut up the voice of the voiceless, not too far, not too far. Because you can't do nothing. You got to worry about your own job now, buddy. Not me. <clears throat> the problem here, too many people put too much faith in the wrong people. Too many people that got power. They try to yield it the wrong way. Too many people have reached out to this weird little YouTube channel for a person that just gives opinions about things. And then people get exposed. My guy. You do not want to be exposed. <clears throat> Hi, my name is Haha, the carrier who got assaulted, and I see you did another video about me. I know my sh- mm, shop steward, who is also against me, is coming from me. I have proof as well as even the supervisor is bullying me on social media. I have to release records, and yet I'm out on workers' comp. I have a child, and it was spring break. 
Am I not allowed to go out? I'm not in a coma. Should I be miserable like my management? Truly said. Truly said. <sighs> Crazy thing is, is that this is just talk until the visual proof, which she did show me. <clears throat> yes, definitely. And she did respond. You are trying to bully me. Please leave me alone. As a supervisor for the USPS, this is ridiculous. You don't know who I know, and thank you. Be blessed. That was her response. But in the actual video, the actual video that she did that I took the video off of, the person commented. <clears throat> the person commented. And they went back and forth. They went back and forth, back and forth on social media. You did that on social media, supervisor, as well as shop steward. You did it on social media, which means your words are forever held because she screenshot them. Not good, man. Not good. <clears throat> now, I'm not going to expose you. She's already doing that with people above you. But WSVN TV is where this young lady had uh, posted that article, that interview that I took. And um, if you happen to find that, you can look at the comments for yourself because the same people that she's referring to are on there bullying her okay huh name is such and such and I see you did another video about me and I know that was my shop steward boom shouted out his name <laughs> not gonna do that not gonna do that not gonna do it and management who is also against me is coming for me and I have proof as well own shop steward said he no longer wants to represent me because I am rude and he's upset because everything my shop stewards told me that I couldn't do, I did. For instance, filing an EEO. Mm -hmm. She's correct. She could file an EEO. Crazy thing is I pay my union dues. It's not a choice. My shop stewards work with management. Even the supervisors bullying me on social media. I have the police records and yes, I'm out on workers comp. I have a child of spring break, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> uh, okay. You do not see me on a water slide. And if I'm such a worker comp fraud, because she's mad at me, rightfully so. Not on workers comp fraud. Uh, I lost my, y'all, this is so, this is so deep. Hope you're following me. Hope I ain't confuse you because hell, I'm confused right now. Oh, trying to protect some people's information. You not see me on water slide and I'm such a worker comp fraud. Ask them why I'm still on workers comp. Oh. Ask them if I was in the wrong, why am I not written up? <clears throat> the news interview was old. And if that was such an issue, again, why am I not written up? If I'm a workers comp, why am I still out on workers comp? My injuries noted from the doctor. I'm still fighting to get back paid for the two weeks that I was off the clock after being sent falsified documentation that they literally copied and pasted my name on someone else's paperwork. That's illegal. <clears throat> I was told I was put off the clock for zero tolerance. My manager doesn't want to pay me workers comp until the news contacted them. Hmm. I can no longer speak about this case. And I was told from the union. Hmm. Oof. Misery loves company and God bless. No mess. If everything that I said and did wasn't true, I'd be fired for, for right now. For real. They're so they're trying so hard to bring me down, but they can't do anything else. Okay. Got it. Hmm. Proof of my shop steward. 
<laughs> oh man, the shop steward that's married. The shop steward that's married. Woohoo! Shop steward that's married. <laughs> oh man, I don't want to even ruin this case because this is interesting. And I'm sure the right people know about this. But if I were the shop steward, I, I just do my job what they're paying me to do. So you take it personal. Can't take things personal. People in power take things personal. Somebody gets injured on the job, just do your job. Like I said from the first video, I don't care what she had going on in life, whether you felt like she did this or did that. Back to my first video. Your job is simply to represent. That's all it is. We see what you was representing, but I'm not one to ruin a happy home. Looks like you're doing that yourself. And if these ever come out, my friend, <laughs> somebody gonna get in trouble. And the last thing that she wrote, don't negotiate shit. Send my grievance off, please. That's what she wrote. That's what she wrote. And then more. Hmm. All right. Hmm. Yeah. So I, I know this seems like I'm withholding information from my group here, but out of respect for what I saw here, and, and like I said, people just happen to send me stuff. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I can't, I mean, when you got one person commenting from their end, you would assume that a shop steward, which is supposed to be a lawyer, is supposed to be um, truthful. Well, there's always three sides to a story, they say, right? Your side, their side, and there's the truth. I'm not the judge nor the jury. I will apologize to all parties, but this one looked bad for the union cousin. This one looked bad for the union cousin. And as a carrier representative, man, you giving the union a bad name there, buzzing. Not cool. Oh, ho, ho, ho. as we doing this video, I just got another one. I just got another one. I wish I could show. I just got another one. <clears throat> and this one says, just got it. While we doing this, I just got it. And I was never sent a letter stating that I was to return to work. My manager told the shop steward to tell me that I can return to work and I will be paid back pay. So unprofessional. Call out my managers for that since I was told to return. Where's the letter? Where is my back pay? <laughs> Oh, oh. Mm. this is interesting. Y'all, y'all hit. Ah, shoot, can I zoom in on this? No, I can't. Man. The Maury Show, right? No, this is just JH. Just sharing some drama, some postal drama. It's a shame, though. It really is a shame. Because... You put trust in your peers and they're doing something uh, right now uh, with no retaliation. I'm sure there's a big talk that everybody's supposed to be getting about no retaliation. And when you have a supervisor that's against you, you got management that's against you and your own shop steward trying to, I ain't gonna do you like that dog. Just pray your wife don't watch me because she can read in between the lines. And pray she don't email me. Mm. As I was saying, who do you trust? Who do you trust? Who do you trust? This is a shame. This is a shame because my thing is just to show information as it comes out. You see, I have my little son on here. We just share the information. And when I, you know, put it out there, because it's true, things get screwy and messy at our place. And it's true. Just put it to the forefront. Let everybody know it is messy. So people realize around this country, you're not alone. 
But every situation is different and the plot keep thickening. The plot keeps thickening. I know somebody gonna show my mans this. I know somebody is. And my mans, there's a chance you know who I am. Real good chance. I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure you can find out who I am. And we'll probably cross paths one day. But you can't be upset with anybody except for yourself. When you're put in a position of power, this is for any manager or supervisor that watches, don't abuse it. Don't abuse it. Don't. I mean, that's not complicated. You can run and take this video and show it to OIG. You can take it to the inspectors if you choose. And at the end of the day, it's me saying, management, you're supposed to be managing an operation, managing your employees, not abusing your power. Don't abuse your power. And you know, the best part about this, there is a whistleblower law because of the government has this thing where I'm not whistleblowing anything, but there's a protection. So when I start talking, I'm protected. So you can't be upset because if you did the dirt, you chimed in, you chimed into my channel and I, and I took your word for it. Unfortunately, she chimed back in and showed the proof. Like I said, y'all can look for yourself. This is so, this is wow. This is wow. Yeah, yeah. What she say her name was without the fear of retaliation? Yeah. She didn't want to give her name. Well, ma'am, I'm on here. You said to leave you alone after I cleared it up. You came to me, so I cleared it up. Now, I'll apologize for saying it was fraudulent, but the evidence said it was. You provided different evidence. It is what it is. I'm, I'm not the judge nor the jury. I'm just talking. That's all it is. And the thing is, is that we, we, we tend to be judged by our peers good, bad, right, wrong, or indifferent. But a majority of the people here will agree that they've run into scenarios where they have, a couple years ago I said it, where there's a lot of union reps that are in bed with management. And there it is. There it is. Needless to say, the supervisor that did make those comments Shame on you. Shame on you. Because you went out of your way to go and comment on her. And clearly that's, uh, that's unprofessional. All right, especially when it comes down to your employee sharing her news. In any case, y'all tell me what you think. Oof, this was a rough video. It was very choppy. But understand, I'm, I'm trying to protect certain things because... Once this escalates and goes up the map, you know, they gonna go back. Well, he, she told this guy, you don't know what she told me. <clears throat> I know what she told me. I ain't share it with y'all. Y'all can read in between the lines though. Anyway, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Y'all have a good rest of your day. He's on some sugar right now. Mm -mm. Unexpected expenses stressing you out? Get the money you need now with Loans for Feds, a program designed specifically for federal employees. Bad credit is not a problem. Application is fast and easy with same-day approvals. Apply now.